Hello everyone, so today we're going to be installing the Backers Mod plugin for Rocket League. First you want to go to your browser of choice, mine will be Google Chrome. You then want to copy the link in the description, which will take you to this page. Once you're on this page, you'll want to go to the top right where it says Backers Mod, hover over that and click Download Backers Mod. It will then pop up in the bottom left with a zip file, Backers Mod Setup. Once this is downloaded, just select this one. It will bring up a WinRAR notification, just clear that one. Then you'll have the backers mod set up here. You'll have to double click this one. Sometimes you might have to extract it if you haven't extracted a backers mod file before or if it's your first time using WinRAR. To extract this file, just click on it, click extract to and extract it to your downloads folder or anywhere on your PC. It doesn't really matter with backers mod. So once I double click on this one, select yes on the screen that comes up it will say to continue this installer will close any open instances of rocket league and backers mod this is okay just select yes you'll then be brought to the setup page so you can clear everything else in your browser this is just to create a desktop shortcut so if you didn't want a shortcut on your desktop you can just untick this box or tick this box but i like a desktop shortcut so i'm going to keep that you then be brought to the install page you just want to click install wait for the program to install and backers mod is now installed you then be brought to a antivirus page and just shows you about backers mod and how to open the folder and then click finish backers mod will instantly load up by itself and as you can see it is on my home screen now it should say rocket league up to date uninjected waiting for you to start rocket league so once you start Rocket League, like we're going to now, so once you load up Rocket League, everything should look normal, your car should look the same. But to load up Backers Mod, what you'll want to do is press F2, which will bring up the Backers Mod settings and all of the available settings along the top. So the quick settings are just quick settings. They are, uh, there's very low, low, medium and high training here. These are just different intensities of training once you're in training. An air dribble mode, which is still pretty self-explanatory and so and so. The items one, which is probably the most common used tab in backers mod. To enable this tab, you just want to literally click enable item mods. Now I already have some presets, so this will instantly give me a preset. But what will probably happen if it's your first time loading up backers mod, is nothing will be here so you'll just want to click a new preset on this side and you can change everything through these drop down menus here the body will be it selected in game so you'll have to have the body of whatever car you want in game everything else can be selected through backers mod so if i wanted any decal such as 20xx which i have selected now i can select 20xx and it will put 20xx on my car if i wanted fire god for example i can type fire god and i can put fire god on my car the same goes for wheels boost hat antenna trail and everything else here if you want to change your colors you can select them through here after clicking override car colors if you didn't want to use these ones and you want to use the in-game ones you just unselect this box and you can use the ones that's in your garage this button just changes whether you have the same car for either team you are when you're playing the game however i would like to state that anything you do on this screen is only viewable by yourself any other player will see it as if you didn't have anything on like this. However, you will see your car like this at all times. The current game tab is just a quick one. You can use this in free play. It gives you unlimited boost if you click this button. You can change your game speed, gravity, and limit boost, disable boost, etc. Just little things like that. Free play, you can change unlimited flips. You can enable goal scoring, things like that. Show boost usage. Just little add-ons to the game nothing that will benefit your game but may make it more fun the custom training page has many options which are personalized everything's pretty self-explanatory changing the ball spin ball location all of that stuff so if you wanted to do this in a custom training then you, this is the page you go on to the ranked tab is quite useful you can show people's ranked mmr when you're playing ranked cancel mmr show mmr on the scoreboard show mmr and casual playlist Using gold POV is quite useful so you'll be able to see the POV of that car when the goal scored, not a high camera view, which is quite cool to look at. You can also say automatically say GG. You can have it so it saves all of your ranked games and all your ranked replays. This ranked tab is quite useful and I personally use a few of these if you're a competitive Rocket League player. The Anonymizer tab is broken as it states, 
but you can mess around with this if you want to. The miscellaneous tab is used to draw like FPS, equip alpha boost, equip light mode, certain little things that don't really benefit the game, but if you want to mess around with them, you can. Bindings is pretty self-explanatory. It just shows you the back of mod bindings. So for example, F2 to open, F6 to toggle the menu, console two, all of these sort of things uh, for default up, default down, if you wanted to go up and down. And if you wanted to change any binds or add binds, you can do that as well. The plugins are quite useful. You have an air dribble plugin, defender plugin, kickoff plugins, things like that. They're very useful, redirect plugin. You can go on these and you can, for example, start this one, uh, You've got load kickoff game these are useful to help you in certain aspects like you can mess around with these and have a look at them and then the patrons are just people that have helped out and contributed towards backers mod and that is basically it but there we go i hope you did enjoy the video get customized with your car get creative i hope it helps you in your gameplay and if you do have anything that you want to ask me about ask in the comments below like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video